have to then go on to the fruit. So uh, the science pulls back what could be seen as the religion of the gaps or the god of the gaps. Um, is it not impossible? Uh, is it not, sorry, is it possible that religion as a whole will one day be sort of pulled back as, as we do answer the questions of, of how life began, how the universe began? And, and furthermore, does this not imply that um, the slow chipping away at sort of the realm of religion, what it covers, uh, means that rather than a, a sort of lesterly inspired religion, we have a, a more naturally occurring phenomenon, which sort of the primitive man invented as a, as a pseudoscience, rather than, than having a, a set of beliefs which is absolute. Because if, if you're constantly changing what should be a, a divine belief, does not sort of make us think that it is a, a belief which cannot be guaranteed. Okay. Thank you for that. No, I don't think that religion is, is going to uh, die out. I think that so long as we human beings are on this earth, we will go on posing questions uh, to which uh, religious answers uh, are available and there will be people who will believe those uh, religious uh, answers. I think it's absolutely fundamental uh, to us as human beings that we do ask these kind of questions uh, and uh, religions will remain there uh, as offering people uh, some of the possible answers which are uh, uh, available. I think we can probably squeeze one more in before, before we have to go. Yes, you've had your hand up a while. Um, I don't know if it's an all things rather usual, because all of it, when we learn this, um, the history of the universe, the mystery of the wonders of the universe, I actually believe in the future that we are involved in the meaningless universe. Furthermore, I believe that religion is Yeah, I'll repeat it for you in a second. Cause... So your question is specifically what, what does religion have to contribute to what? Okay, fine. Let's do it. What? Most species in this world are becoming extinct as to our activities. Um, what does religion? Science seems to me to have an answer, or the beginnings of an answer to an understanding and moving on. Seems to me that religion has not yet made a real contribution to that at all. So <coughs> religious religion hasn't made a substantial contribution. To, or has no role to play in addressing, the, in addressing issues of extinction and the rest. Yeah, okay, go on. Well, um, I, it seems to me that when, if we're considering environmental issues and particularly the extinction of, of, of species, um, what we bring to bear on it, whether we're atheists or religious or agnostic, uh, is a moral concern about it. It's not science itself which gives you that moral concern. Many scientists will have a moral concern about the extension of various species. So will religious people, so will non-religious, so will non-religious people. But this is not a scientific question, it's a question uh, about ethical responsibility. And religion claims, not always, uh, it's not always successful in practice, claims to enhance people's sense of ethical responsibility. Now I do think that, that religions uh, the monotheistic religions are to blame in some respect in, the, uh, in this area because the phrase in, G in Genesis that human beings have give, been given dominion over the animals has been t clearly taken by some people as meaning the ability uh, or the, the right to exploit uh, it, the environment in, in a ruthless uh, and, uh, and, and total kind of way. And people now are reinterpreting that uh, to mean that human beings have been given a stewardship of, of creation. So that is one of the ways in which I think, uh, in which religious people, Christian people, are now coming to a different interpretation of that particular phrase in Genesis. Richard Dawkins, very quick. I'd just like to, to um, I think what you've just demonstrated, Richard, is that um, as the centuries go by, as the decades go by, we become, we change, we become more enlightened, yeah, yeah. Um, we, we move on, and you've stressed that several times. We all move on, whether we're religious or not. 
And so the, the ethic which says we, do, we now have stewardship of the earth, not, yeah. do, not dominion, is something which is secular as well as religious. Yeah. Now, you can, if you wish, having decided that on the basis of this shifting moral zeitgeist, you can then go back to your holy book and find verses that will support it. Yeah. But why bother? I mean, you've come to it through this shifting moral zeitgeist. We are all in this together, moral philosophers, legal philosophers, parliamentarians, yeah. journalists, just ordinary people. We agree about our shifting morals, our shifting ethics, yeah. our shifting yeah. politics. We don't need to go back to the Bible and find the verses that agree with our modern consensus. We can just forget the Bible and just stick to our moral consensus. Richard, uh, and Richard, I'm going to have to, we're going yeah. to have to stop it there. Uh, 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 right, right, okay. Can I just, uh, on your behalf, thank uh, both Richard Dawkins and Richard Harris for a very stimulating discussion. Thank you.